So on to outdoor. So with the outdoor TVs, um, what SEER provides here is really a broad opportunity um, for flexibility and convenience. You know, if we're in a northern climate, it's first question, first two questions people always ask when I introduce an outdoor TV is, oh, can it get rained on? Or, you know, what happens if it gets snowed on? Say, so, well, let the snow melt. You know, it's an all weather TV. You know, and other question, you know, can I leave it outside year round? It gets cold. It's like, yeah, I mean, these things are designed in Green Bay, Wisconsin and, and uh, tested through those rigid conditions. So um, that's the thing. You're, you're really providing flexibility and convenience, allowing, allowing for the conversation of asking folks, where do they spend time outside? How do they spend their time out there? You know, and the outdoor space is a space that's really become a dedicated room of the home which all started in 2008 with that housing crash and people wanted bigger homes, but you know, they couldn't afford to move to a bigger home. So they use the outside um, as another room and subsequently products really came about that, that uh, took the indoor experience and brought it outside. So, you know, here's, here's a shaded application um, where certainly a Sierra ultra bright outdoor TV is going to be your primary or, you know, your best solution for that space. You know, it's designed to survive and or you know to, to work in direct sun. It's gonna be your, your optimal solution in any lighting application, especially with our adaptive picture technology. Uh, but we do have our shade series outdoor TVs. So and then you know, some folks might an answer that question of where do you spend time outside without hesitation? They'll say 90% of the time by the pool. Say, hey, you know, it's summertime. We invested in this pool because that's where we, we spend our time. They don't know they have the opportunity uh, to enjoy you know, video out in that space. They might have speakers all around. Your dealers might be you know, inherently always doing that, but even they don't fully understand the opportunities with the Sierra Ultra Bright Outdoor TVs. Now, this is an opportunity where you know, if someone's gonna spend their time out there, that's where an Ultra Bright comes in. 65s, 86s, those are our top selling Ultra Bright outdoor displays because when people have a space like this they really want to enjoy it you know or if they say i want to escape the indoors outside sit out by the fire and relax okay let's get a tv out there because the reality is they're going to want to watch the game you know uh you know during the, those summer months um you know if i'm trying to listen to the game and if you know without having that on the on the tv it's it's hard to pick it up so it's nice having having video out there Again, flexibility, convenience, you know, they, they can use that space how they want. So why SEER Outdoor TVs, largest, best designed you know, solution. So we have outdoor TV options from 42 up to 86. With all the next generations with the ultra brights, sizes are 49 to 86. The shade series uh, right now under the gate, 55 and 65. We'll have 75s coming down the line. Um, best picture quality. So whether it's the shade series, outdoor TV, or the uh, the ultra bright the best picture uh, in those categories in those classes we offer the best sound solutions so this this shade series outdoor tv includes a 50 watt soundbar it's a passive soundbar that's powered amplified by the tv so the the, the shade series outdoor tv has a built-in amplifier to uh, power that soundbar and then uh, best in class warranty full two-year warranty for outdoor use so if we look at these versus an indoor TV, they have exactly zero days of outdoor use. Um, you know, like the Shade Series top competitor, the the, the Snap AV Sunbright Veranda, um, that's a one-year warranty. Well, hey, an indoor TV is probably going to survive one one season outside, right? So really, really provide that peace of mind. So like I say, going up to 86 for our size options, 4K you know with all the new displays I said the the shade series soundbar is included with that product uh, that's a 50 watt soundbar the ultra brights have an optional 60 watt powered soundbar um, so with the ultra brights there is an optional soundbar available um, it's powered but the cool thing is the ultra bright outdoor TV has a waterproof compartment that has a three pronged outlet built right into the TV. So you can actually power that sound bar right from the TV. You can plug it into the TV. Just don't plug the TV into itself. 
doesn't have a built-in flux capacitor, mini nuclear generator. So um, best warranty, like I said in class, so full two-year warranty. Um, you know, I'd say on, on paper, that's the best best warranty. Um, how things are handled on the back end can be actually dependent on the actual application itself. Just know that, um, you know, if a dealer has anything, they want to start with our tech support team. Um, you know, if they need to do any return repair type uh, situations, make sure that that is logged with Sierra before you guys would, would take anything back. Um, just to make sure that we have that role in the correct way. So, you know, we're, we're not selling commodities here. These are more like, you know, like cars, you know, you take it to the dealership to make it right. Um, just through experience, you know, there's just different ways that we want to handle it to make sure that we resolve any, anything that might be going on in the field. So, so here's a full lineup of uh, all of our latest and greatest models. So like I said, the, the new shade series outdoor TVs, 55, 65s are shipping now, 75s down, down the road. And then with the ultra brights, 49 up to 86. Um, so with the shade series, your price point there, 24.99 retail for a 55, and that includes that sound bar. So and then all the way up to 22,000 retail for the 86. So you get to a certain level, you just you need the best. So getting into the shade series outdoor TVs a little bit more here. Um, so why shade series? Best design. Again, very, very clean design. That's what, you know, everything Sierra touches in, in designs. We're going to make sure that there's a high design element to it. Uh, best best and brightest uh, picture quality for that app, um, for that category. Full 450 nit panel. Um, that's the that's quality of a good indoor TVs around 450 nits. Um, you know, our original storms were 450 nits. So that's, that's appropriate for a shaded application outside. Like I said, Ultra Bright is still going to be optimal, but... You know, when you're comparing it to a veranda, which came into the market at like sub 300, it was like a low grade indoor TV weatherized. You know, we're at at 450 nit panel. Uh, again, best in class sound with that 50 watt sound bar included, and best in class warranty with a full two year warranty. And then ultra brights, so an even higher design element. You kind of see that reflective side uh, panel that we include with the ultra brights. Um, kind of call that the infinity edge, you know, to really minimize that, that appeared standoff, um, up to a thousand nit brightness for the panels there. Um, but does have our adaptive picture technology to make sure that we're adjusting that backlighting seamlessly, consistently, um, throughout the day, as you transition through the day into the night, you don't want a thousand nit screaming at you, much less 700. So it's going to be comfortable viewing, but it's also going to adjust that contrast ratio so that you have optimal color saturation. So, very, very high picture quality with high design. That 60 watt powered soundbar um, is a fantastic solution, you know, as an optional uh, audio component. It's optional because with these applications, a lot of times there's other, um, you know, sound options, landscape type systems, and then that full two year warranty as well. So we have this cool comparison chart here. Um, like I said, the, the top. Top competitive product, you know, by far, I mean, 99% of what, what we see, you know, in the market from, from the studies can be your Sierra outdoor TVs and, and Snap AV Sunbright outdoor TVs. Um, so this is a, a good comparison where Ultra Bright and Pro are similar applications. Apples to oranges, though, when it comes to design and performance of, of the panels and even the size options. And then Shade Series, uh, direct competitor to the Veranda. So Veranda will be 2000 for that 55 versus 24.99 for the 55 shade, but we include a brighter picture, um, includes that sound bar and double the warranty with that full two year warranty. So digging a little bit into some more of the technical details, uh, especially focusing on the ultra brights, and that's where that performance really, really kicks in. Like I said, 4K panels up to a thousand in brightness, but includes our adaptive picture technology just to make sure that that backlighting setting is optimal um, for comfortable viewing as you transition through the day into the night. And it's seamless for all over 100 different settings. And it's also gonna adjust that contrast ratio for optimal color saturation as you jack that back up into the uh, high noon brightness. So engineered for, you know, both, both Shade Series Ultra TVs and Ultra Bright Ultra TVs are engineered for year round use, you know, 
be sitting in the hot tub watching the wild um, when it's you know 20 degrees and snowing. You know, your your optimal for the you know high res, high refresh rate content is going to be, um, you know, going to be, you know, above freezing. But an indoor TV doesn't work in those winter applications. It doesn't work when it gets hot and humid outside. These are designed again for that flexibility and convenience when when you're going to use it. You can leave it outside year round, short of an apocalyptic event. So integration capabilities, and this is kind of focused with the uh, with the um, the ultra bright, but both both ultra bright and, and shade series, uh, you'd have IP control. Um, ultra brights have that uh, three prong outlet in it, where you could either plug in an aftermarket device or the powered soundbar that's optional. Built in HD base T, so flexible integration. As far as installation goes, um, both the Ultrabrights and the Shade Series outdoor TVs, instead of having that quarter-inch thick heavy glass that we had on the on the previous generations, it's an exposed impact resistant panel, so a lot lighter to handle, but also um, will in, improve the performance as well. So reduce glare from the glass, uh, so perceived higher brightness. Here's connections you know, within the Ultrabright itself. All this information is available at, at that download center or online as you uh, kind of dig through the different product categories. Just to show you that. How folks install it, integrate it is different every time. So, so where some of the accessories go, um, like I said, the, the sound bar on the Shade series is included, but we do have covers and mounts that are available as well. Um, but uh, the, the sound bar for the ultra bright is optional, but all the sound bars are designed for that TV. So we have 55 inch sound bars. We have 65 inch sound bars. It's not a one size fits all. We want to make sure that's a clean design. That powered sound bar, um, that's that's optional for the ultra brights. That's a Bluetooth capable sound bar. Um, so on its own, it's, it's a pretty good sound solution. These are the, uh, the inputs for that sound bar, RCA inputs. Like I said, that, that sound bar for the Shade Series is going to be passive, but the TV itself does have a, a built-in amplifier for it. So we have three mount options for outdoor TVs. Um, you don't need to use our mounts. It, it's a standard BASA pattern, uh, but our mounts provide, you know, convenience of, you know, and, and kind of peace of mind knowing that, hey, you know, these are heavy-duty outdoor rated mounts available directly from CIRA. Um, the one mount I've discussed is our slim mount, so you see how that reflective side panel really reduces that perceived standoff with the ultra brights. Um, so that's that's really accentuated when you use a slim mount because that's a static mount that's tight against the wall. Um, so some fly brackets there. Like I said, we also have covers. Covers are an optional accessory because you don't need them, but they protect it from birds and dust. Um, something that we just kind of recommend. Uh, trying to proactively get sold there so and then we do have some of the close out models available i think you guys have a few in stock as well um, we we directly have 42 storm 42 ultra bright 49 ultra bright um, but I, I know you guys have a few as well so good value for someone uh, looking at for a dedicated outdoor tv